Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be making a set of Hamilton inspired custom note cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you've been around my channel, you know that I love all things Hamilton. And a few weeks ago, I shared with you a trio of cards that are up on the screen now. And I said I would be back soon with another version, but that are personalized. And that's what I'll be doing here today. I will be using the Work stamp set from Ink Road Stamps. And currently this is available for pre-order. So if you wanna go check it out, I do have it linked in the description box below. Make sure to read all the fine print about how long pre-orders take, but I will tell you it's definitely worth the wait. Along with the stamp set, I got out my Gina K Designs Prickly Pear ink, a blending brush, and a masking template that I created. And there are a couple fun features about this, which I will show you later. Off camera, before I got started, I did go ahead and design the layout for the note cards that I needed to print, and I got those printed out on an off-white cardstock. I will be creating today's set for a friend from high school who also loves Hamilton, and my thought behind it was, if you know the Hamilton musical, toward the end, before Burr and Hamilton get ready to duel, they write notes back and forth to each other, and they either sign it A.Ham for Hamilton or A.Burr for Aaron Burr. Well, I thought it would be fun to have a set of note cards like you were signing like that. So on defont.com, I tried to find a font that was similar to an old tiny signature, and I decided on this one, which right now, don't remember what it's called, but I will link it below before I upload this video. Once I start the process for today's cards, I will let you know if I add any more products or tools, but as always, if I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I'm going to be cutting my cardstock prints with the signature in half for a top fold card base. So each of these sheets gets cut to four and a quarter inches wide and then left at 11 inches tall. Now I will end up folding these later, but because this is a note card set for a friend, I do want to make sure that the fold is nice and crisp. So I will be bringing in my score it board. Now this is pretty old here, but I find that of all my scoring tools, this is my favorite. It has just a single line down the center that you use the scoring tool on. So you center your piece of cardstock between the marks, so it's at the five and a half inch on the left and the five and a half inch on the right, and then I just use the tool to go down that metal strip in the center. I'm not gonna fold these quite yet because before I do that, I want to go ahead and do my ink blending, which is what I'm gonna bring in now. For my blending today, I'm using Gina K Designs Prickly Pear Ink, and I will be holding my pieces of cardstock in place with my Scotch Blue Removable Tape. Now you'll notice here on the mask that I have created and cut, I have some notches in it. And those are notches for a four and a quarter by five and a half, and a four by five and a quarter. Because my piece is of course larger than that, I will just be lining up the bottom two corners with the outer cuts on the bottom. And I do make sure that even though my card doesn't fit exactly in the notches, I do fit it in the notch on the left and then I line it up so it is vertically running right into the notches that are cut on the top. Once I have that in place, I tape it down with that scotch blue removable tape and then I flip it over and do the blending. Now I want the outer edges to be darker so I do go around a couple times and just blend to the center. That way later when I do the stamping, the area where the stamp is is kind of highlighted. 
What I love about that blue removable tape is it does not tear the cardstock at all, and I continue to use that for the remaining nine pieces. It just keeps on sticking. Once I had all 10 of those ink blended, I did let that ink dry for probably 15 or 20 minutes before I moved on to the stamping. Now I, there are five images in the stamp set and I'm making 10 note cards, so I did bring in my Misty to do the stamping. This way I can just set each image up once and stamp it on both of the note cards. For the stamp itself, I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black, and another great thing is about the Misty, because these are a very solid image or a silhouette, you usually have to stamp these kind of images twice. Now here I brought in my new tool. My sister made me this. It is my favorite color, and it is, has some felt on the bottom, so when I run it across the Misty, I can put added pressure, and it just glides nice and smooth. You do see there I stamped this a couple times, and then I got a nice solid black so I could move on to the second one. In between each of the stamped images, or when I changed the images, I did make sure to bring in my towel, clean the stamp off well before moving on. While I continue with the stamping, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. These are just fun little questions that I like to ask my subscribers and viewers so I can get to know you a little bit better. I so enjoy seeing your answers every time I have one. Today's question is, have you ever made a set of cards for a friend, family member, coworker? You can let me know in the comment section below and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. I myself have definitely made and given away lots of sets of cards to friends, family members, coworkers, both personalized and just sets of cards that I have created. One of my most favorite sets to create are my personalized teacher note cards. I do have a picture of an old set here up on screen, and I thought it was a great way to gift my daughter's teachers with something they could use, and that was a little bit more personalized. Once I had all of the cards stamped, I decided to jazz up the envelopes a little bit as well. I brought back in that Gina K Designs Prickly Pear ink, and I stamped each of the silhouettes from the stamp set two times on two envelopes. The images that had more than one person on them, I put them on the envelope so they hung off to the left side just a little bit, and then if it was just a single person or a single image, I placed that just in the lower left hand corner of the envelope, leaving a small border. Here's a look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this set of customized Hamilton inspired note cards. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.